<laughs> you know, it's quite funny when I make a video and I ask you guys for uh, suggestions for name of my car. And it's quite cool because you really are enthusiastic, whatever it's called, and uh, I have a lot of suggestions. Uh, the Knight Rider 2, the Moon uh, Knight Rider, the Shadow Fox, uh, the Silver Fox, uh, Air Wolf, uh, Grey Wolf, or whatever. I haven't chosen any of them. Um, I've chosen another name, and I will reveal it uh, at the end of this video. Another software has been downloaded to uh, the X and the S and uh, vehicles with Autopilot 2.0, they're a little bit behind. It's a little bit strange that since it's so many cameras and uh, stuff like that, the computer is even stronger, the CPU or whatever it's called. Um, this car does not have this, exactly the same features as the cars with the Autopilot 1.0. Even though it has more cameras and stuff like that, it's like the system is new and they have to start from scratch again, sort of. Um, but now uh, stuff is starting to happen and uh, we got the summon feature back, we got uh, even higher speed on the Autopilot. Now you can go to 80 miles per hour. It's probably a safety feature because if you go to 88 miles per hour, you might up ending back to the future. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, and uh, there is a rumor that now two of the cameras in the front are used for the autopilot right now. So it's getting better, and soon we will probably go beyond the features of the Autopilot 1.0 and the cars with Autopilot 2.0 will go further on and we will go beyond and yeah stuff like that so one day of course most probably very soon there will not be so many more features for the cars with the Autopilot 1.0 and the cars before that again probably nothing at all that's just the way it is. So if somebody wants to enter the third row, they have to push a button on the side of the second row of your seat to push it forward. Of course, I can also push here if I hold it inside. But if I hold it in, I can go all the way. But I need to keep my finger there if I let go. It will stop. And now you see there is a sign here that says easy entry off. Now, I have to hold it if I, if I let go, nothing happens. So, but if I go to settings and vehicle and easy entry on, then, now it says easy entry on, if I push here. It will all go automatically and it will be easy entry on the third row. Amazing. And if you go to controls, settings and now driver assistance you can now see that the auto lane change has popped up again and the summon feature also has popped up again and the lane assist warning, lane departure warning. So it's all coming back Another thing that has popped up now on the, this vehicle is that if you go to settings and doors and locks, the Falcon door height. So if you press that now and you go to controls and doors, you will now see the two signs there and the car will, the doors will open just like that. If it rains, you know, and if you press that one, it will go all the way up. So, if it rains, and it really does in Norway, then you can do it like this. So you can have it like that, and there will be two signs on the Falcon wind doors, or you can... Settings, you can take them off again, and when you go to doors, it's only be that. 
this little guy on the side of the seat uh, lets you control some settings in the back to have a harder or softer seat in your lower back but another cool feature now is if you touch it uh, there is a thing popping up on the screen and you can choose between doing the things in the back or actually raising or lower your headrest so if I do something with this now you see ooh. so you can treat with a loom bar it's called okay and headrest and now it's actually on the headrest so let's check it out So this will also, of course, be uh, another setting in your driver profile. Another funny thing, I don't know if you ever will use it, is if you hold it a little bit in and then you tap it, then, yeah, um, you can draw stuff. Woo, it's so cool. Uh, I don't know why you should do it. Uh, course if you want to explain something and then I drove here uh, and uh, on this uh, corner was a nice lady and I was driving here and I saw there another vehicle came here and then we banged crashed yeah so yeah for instance but anyway so yeah um, now you can do that and yeah uh, since it's soon uh, Easter holiday uh, Tesla has given us back again the holiday feature thing you hold the T inside and enter access code and then you write model X mass actually Christmas and when you go OK you will see here the show will begin after the exit of Model S. Close all doors and press the lock button on your key phone. Happy holidays. So, um, yeah. Um, so, if you haven't seen it before, you can watch it now. Uh, or if you have seen it many times, you can uh, stop watching and have a nice evening. And yeah, by the way, the name of the car is Pegasus.